hey guys welcome back so in this video we will discuss how to verify the title of the page so in our agenda is not only to verify the title of the page we can create a reusable method and we can use the same method in your all the test cases right so if we will go for the framework level development so what do you have to uh, do that right we are not uh, using you know we are not writing the simple script in the framework right so here we are trying to develop some reusable method and same method we can use in our all the test cases like if you have 100 test cases right so all the 100 test cases you have to verify the title so we cannot write the same thing right so we can you know what we can do we can create a method and we can reuse this so just i will go for the from basics you know how to verify the title of the page then after that we can uh, create a reusable method then you know we can use in the any test cases so let's uh, start okay so i'm using uh, test ng so pre request is you, uh, i think if you are watching or if you just you can go through the previous session and all how to set up selenium and all you should aware this is the pre request uh, or you have to also add your test ng jars as well right so we have already just we have created one class so just i'm using before class and public void before config before config okay then after that here we can uh, launch the browser so we have a system dot set property so i'm just writing the basics code okay then we can we can use reusable method okay so web driver dot chrome dot driver okay so here you have to paste exe path location so let me uh this in my location you know i kept this exe file so just you can press shift and right click so we will get copy as a path just you can uh, copy this okay and just you have to gain one more this forward slash okay otherwise you will get uh, error okay so you can just uh, give one more and just you can give the semicolon then after that i'm defining the web driver as a class level okay so i'm defining web driver as a class level driver and now we can just hold the driver object you know sorry chrome driver object so chrome driver so i'm using the chrome you can use any browser as your base but i'm using the chrome so get method you can just go here and just paste it okay so here we are launching the browser then we are going to maximize this browser driver dot manage dot window dot maximize okay and so now this is the done okay and now i'm going to create a, a test case so we have to verify the title you can take the any url verify title of page okay so here we are going to verify the title of the page so here we have to import it and just i'm going to use get title so get title method we have a get title method so by using the get title and we can uh, store the title in a string right so this is your uh, actual 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 title okay just i am writing and here we can use a string expected title okay so expected type title i already know this is uh, engineers tech hub engineers tech hub or what you can do you can simply print here what the actual value is coming okay so we can just print it you can just for debug purpose you can give this oh sorry guys so s y s o then uh, here you can print it okay actual and we will use here assert dot assert equals okay this is your actual title 
and this is your expected title so this is actual and expected title and now we are going to after method okay public void after con fig okay so we will close our browser okay so driver dot close okay that's all so this is the simple script and the people you know if you are the learning first time the selenium pre-request you have to learn the java if you don't know the java you can just refer my playlist you will get uh, you know java tutorial as well so here this is the simple code i have written then we will you know customize our code so just i'm going to uh, check this code is working or not you can see so here uh, driver uh, is going to launch means chrome browser will launch then after that it will launch application so i'm using my blog you can use any application as your wish an expected value we can print and we can check so we are verifying the title of the page and that same code we can reuse in our uh, you know class in our any test cases not in class in, in any test cases and it will close our so we can see uh, the test case is passed okay so here it is passing right so but our agenda is to add this we have to create a some reusable method again uh, here just i'm going to create a reusable method but here the code will not like that we have a much we can uh, reduce the code here because this get title is very simple method but just we can you know last time we have discussed how to create a uh, reusable method for get text right so here just i'm going to create just uh, you know uh, go through my previous uh, video if you are uh, because this all the classes we have already made in my previous session so we have a one helper test class and here we are creating a reusable method okay and you can see here we have defined that driver as a, uh, a static and all are the static methods so now i'm going to create public a static okay as a static and i will take a return type as a string because uh, the title you have to store somewhere get title of page okay so here uh, just i'm going to write driver dot get title okay so here we are getting the title and now what i can do here a string get title of get uh, title of page okay now i'm going to print this value just you can uh, uh, mouse over here so what will happen it will you have to return so it is returning this get title of the page now again i'm going to print this get title of the page so i'm going to print this get title you can see now i have printed okay so what i can do i can reuse this and i want to tell you one more thing guys so this is the java documentation you know when you are creating or when you are developing anything then we have to document that thing because in the real time we are uh, not only one people are there we have a team so your code so whatever the code you are going to use your code will understand anyone right so we have to take care for each and everything even you have to follow some coding standard if you are not aware about of the coding standard uh, you know you can follow my java video okay so here this method is used to what is the use of this method verify or get title of page so parameter we don't have anything exception we don't have anything and return a uh, type we have a return as a, a string okay so this is documentation you have to provide to uh, your code is more readable right anyone can understand so that thing you have to take care okay so this is how we have developed this uh, you know simple uh, reusable method and we can use this method in our class okay so what i can do i can extends helper test okay so i have extended this helper test 
and now just this driver i am so here what i can do i can use our reusable method okay so we have already method okay so this is your method name helper test dot launch browser okay so this reusable method you can just go for launch browser and here this is already we have right so i'm using the same url so what will happen i should not write this line of the code always so here it will launch the browser i'm going to comment again this all the things or i will reuse so now i'm going to helper test dot here so this video will help you how we are working in the real time we are not writing basics code right we are you know using this and this is the part of your framework right so in the framework we are also doing the same thing okay but from the framework you have to create a page object model but here we are using uh you know like some you know i have used one repository we are storing the all the object if you are watching the previous video you will understand or you can just refer the previous video so here this is your uh actual uh title so just i'm going to copy here and apart from that all are the same so just i'm going to copy here okay okay one more thing what i want to do this one i don't want to make a hard coded i will store if you uh, i already created one class that is called get data class so i will store here the variable aspect actual value i will store here public a static a string get title of page engineers tech hub okay so here we are using multiple uh, url so that's why i'm just giving the reference so here just i will store this variable in this class okay and just so what will happen in the future if we want to do any changes we should not require to change here simply i will call here get data get data dot we have a this get title that's all okay you can see here we are not using here anything hard coded right we have made this everything is you know uh, if any changes in the future you know we should not do anything here right so here like we have a and this method you can call any test run uh, sorry any test cases right got it right and we can just very verify you know we have a assert dot equals this is the part of the test ng and just i'm going to execute this so this is how uh, you know we can make a reusable method so last session we have discussed how to make the reusable method for a get text right if you verify the any text on the page like it is a error message or anything so you should not write the same code always just we can make the reusable method and we can reuse in our any test cases and this things you can include in your interview also definitely interviewer will impress you you can just tell them hey i have developed reusable method for selenium library right so we have discussed how to develop the reusable method for get text how to develop the reusable method for get title and next topic i will create how to make a reusable method for is display is enabled right and one more method are there right so we can make it in the coming session is displayed is enabled and you know so and uh, uh, element is uh, you know visible or not right so we, we will try to make a uh, you know reusable method for like how to handle the radio button how to handle the check box right if you click right so we can try to make the all the reusable method for that so that's all in this uh, session guys so see you in the next session and please share and subscribe and press bell icon so every you know if you will not press the bell icon you will not get this video notification when i will upload that so please share and subscribe and press bell icon guys so if i will upload any video you will get notification thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next video bye bye